Talk to a little bit about where we are now. Um, going forward, are you? Is that where your your attention is? Is it all the bigger stuff, or I think you still just recently bought a buy let though, didn't you? Um, yeah. So in the immediate future, we've got these larger development projects to build out. So they've both been bought: the the pub and and the hotel, or uh, sorry, the the church and the pub slash hotel mm-hmm. slash whatever you want to call it. It's a big old lump of building. <laughs> lump it is. Um, yeah. Not trying to claim I'm some sort of hotelier. Um, <laughs> just what it's called, the Beeswing Hotel. Um, yeah. So we've got those to build out. Um, and then the church, we're going to sell those apartments. And with the bees wing, with the pub, we're going to retain them. Um, but yeah, we've also got HMO going through and, and did a buy to let recently. Um, nice. And I've got my own house and, and family. We're doing work there. So really this year is about kind of being quite disciplined to, to deliver what we've done. Mm. Um, and then I think I'll look ahead in the, in the next year, uh, whether I want to do something different. Uh, I, I've got, uh, you know, a passion for property. I enjoy it, but I've got a bigger passion to sort of use the skills I've learned within property to try and do some some really good things. I think that's one characteristic I noticed in my dad is he was he was quite, you know, he was a different kind of character and personality. He wasn't big and loud. He was sort of a behind the scenes guy, but he would help a lot of people that you just wouldn't, you wouldn't see it unless you knew him, you know, but he would use his business skills to kind of fight the corner for, like like friends and people in the community and that's something i always admired is that you can you can take your 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 skills and your talents and apply them to help maybe a charity or an organization that perhaps needs those skills um i get get a big big sort of kick out of that i don't know if that is if if that's a a a positive thing you know (laughs) no i I think giving back something that well, you hear about people doing it, but I'm sure there's still a lot of people who are very wealthy and very successful who, who don't give back. And, you know, and there's only so much money that you can I, have. I feel like happiest when when I when I give. I know that might sound really weird, but I think it's, it's very rewarding to be able to impart something that's cost you to, to somebody else. And and I and I just I, you know I really believe like the world of the generous grows larger and larger. I don't know if you've ever mm-hmm. heard that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and I think when we start becoming quite insular and closed off and like me, 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 and when it all becomes about you as an individual and what you can build your empire on, then I, I sort of feel like you, you don't have as a re- rewarding a life. Mm, so sure. you know that's something I try and remind myself of. Um, Love that. If only, if only everybody thought like that, I think the world would be a very, very different place. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree. I think um, love that. strange times that we live in. But, yeah. You know. Definitely. I love that. Thanks, Charlie.